Taste of Dragon's Gaming Podcast. We eat sandwiches and play games. Taste of Dragon's Gaming Podcast. The podcast for everyone's day. Hello, everyone, and welcome to yet another episode of Taste of Dragons, the Toddcast, the video game podcast that all you wedding bells listen to. And this week, we're running lean today, and you'll find out why in a second. And as always, my name is Brian. And I am Joe. Hey, there's a couple of names missing in between uh, you and me. <laughs> there is. I mean, we could pretend to be them, but I don't think it's going to work out I don't so think it's well. going to work out as well. I mean, I could try to do Troy's voice. I could probably get close, but I mean, it's not going to work. way funnier if I tried to do Troy's oh, voice. Oh, yeah, it would, yeah. And I could do Manda's. <gasps> <That'd be glorious. laughs> the next food fight. That's what needs That's to happen. That's what's just going to happen. We just need to play different dragons in the food fight. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, as you guys can tell, there's only two of us this week, just Joe and I. Uh, there was a lot going on in all of our uh, all of our lives this week. And um, none of us were really able to get together and record uh, any day of the week. <laughs> so, so Joe and I are like, well, let's at least uh, do something. Let's, you know, let's record something for this week. So I don't know if you guys have noticed on your on the little playback how short this episode is going to be. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is going to be a, a shorter episode. I think we're just going to do some news or question like normal. Maybe do a story or two, depending on uh, how much time we're going. But, but yeah, that's what we're going to do today, right? Yeah, I think so. It'll be a little shorty and sweetie. Shorty and sweetie? Sweetie. Sweetie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, speaking of shorty and sweetie, uh, Joe, you have a question for us I this week, don't do you? I do have a question for us. So with our normal uh, everyday lives taking over this week for pretty much every dragon and for ours having been wrapped around a wedding coming up, I was wondering what video game has a memorable wedding in it that you might uh, like to regale us with a tale of i like it i like it uh so for me um i have i have like two ish because the first one they never actually get to their wedding uh and that is final fantasy 15 um you have the main character noctis trying to get to his uh uh his bride to be uh i think it's luna 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 nesca if i remember correctly i that name could be completely wrong as well because it's like been it. a while since it's i played nice that name. game <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah he he never actually gets to his wedding and uh his uh, spoiler alert for a game that's you know four or five years old uh he never actually gets to it because she ends up uh passing away i think it's in like the middle like the beginning half of the game uh so you never get to it uh so so that's that's a memorable non-wedding. <laughs> oh wow, yeah. Um, but I think I think a, a memorable weddings though, you kind of have to go, or at least for me, I go to The Sims because The Sims, the weddings could be whatever you want them to be. Could the weddings be weddings of your dreams where you have like everything like picture perfect you have you know like the little arch going on you got all of your all of your in sim people like there because you can make anybody that you want so you can have you know you can have historical figures at your wedding if you want right um or you know you could hold a, a nice wedding in a room invite everybody into that room and then remove the door and see what happens there's a lot of different things that can go on in weddings in the sims uh that can be memorable because you make them memorable <laughs> <laughs> that is, uh, you know what? Uh, mine are nowhere near as as better. So I, right? I, you know, I can't throw <laughs> stones for my glass house from the ones that I thought of. Okay. Well, you, you know what? It's true. But, you know, depending on the Sims wedding, it, it could go either way, Joe. <laughs> I, you know what? It really could. It sounds a lot like uh, the first one for me. I, I also have two. Okay. Um, my The most memorable wedding, I think, in a video game for me has been the, the heartbreak and sadness of, once again, spoiler alert, for a very old game. Yeah. <laughs> um, if you've never played Sleeping Dogs, definitely check out for the next minute because this is a this is a massive it's amazing piece of game. the game that is very, very good. Yes. Um main character he is uh doing his best to try and make sure he uh he does right by his old best friend and he's getting into the triad and he's the son on ye and he's becoming a an up-and-coming you know gangster essentially but he's a cop and he's like he's in it to win it he's gonna he's gonna he's take undercover the whole, right he's gonna take the whole yeah exactly he's gonna take the whole organization down nice he winds up becoming really good friends with this guy and this girl that are family members of his best friend and their wedding is taking place and there's like a rival piece of the gang. And when you go to their wedding, you're, everyone's having a good time. You've gotten to know these characters. These are not side characters that you didn't spend time with. These yeah, this are is like, what, like three-fourths into the this game? Is, yeah, this is like probably the last 20% of the game yeah. when this happens. And they, uh, 
when I use the word massacre, <laughs> I mean, you like there are quick time events during the wedding for you to try and save people and nothing ever works out. So even if you get the quick time events it correct, doesn't matter. it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. They still <laughs> like like dudes might as well be like classic old New Yorker, like Tommy style guns coming in, like Oof. just, eh, 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 you know, <laughs> Jeez. Just, it's bad, guys. Guys, that that was burned into my memory. I think I might have actually shed a tear while watching that because I was so upset. That is memorable, <laughs> right? Like, I, like I'm a monster. I don't cry, and so it was one of those. Oh, oh, I, I really liked those characters. Now that, that oh, this is terrible. <laughs> so yeah, you know what? Your Sims one, not very far off. Not very far. You know, what? you may not be massacring in that room. They just might cannibalize one another, though. You know what? You're not wrong. <laughs> Sims got to eat yo. Sims got to eat. They do. They do. But you know what, the one that I, I do think about that I think is very fun is also a, a wedding to be that may not to be. I had a really good time playing Super Mario Odyssey. Oh, and yeah. And I really loved, like, Bowser dressed up. Seeing Bowser dressed up was one of those, like, beautiful moments in time. Top Hat Bowser. Oh, man. He's oh, so dapper. He was so dapper. And, like, Wedding Peach. And then you've got Mario <laughs> dressed up. And I was so like, oh, please don't marry either of them. But this is the most adorable thing I've ever seen. That's so cute. Joe, you have to say it correctly. It's Wedding Peach. Oh, that's right. That's correct. That's right. It's Wedding Peach. You are right. Wedding yeah. Peach. Yeah, you got to say it correctly. It's okay. It's okay. It's been a little while. It, it little... has been a bit. It's been a bit. Uh, so did that, actually, did that wedding actually happen? I do not believe so. Okay. But also, uh, you know what? I, I'm not spoiling anything with that game. So oh, that, yeah, that's fair literally, enough. I think, the opening of the game is uh, is some of that shenaniganery. So yeah, I good. think I think uh, I think in Super Mario World, I think um, uh, Peach and Bowser also get married in that one of the the 2D ones. Uh, that the, <laughs> I think the beginning of the game starts with them getting married. You know, quote unquote. Yeah, quote. Uh, yeah. And then yeah, Mario's trying to trying yeah. to find them out. Yep. So. Anytime uh, I think Peach or or Mario or Bowser are dressed up in oh it's so in good like let's go get fancy garb. I am in. I'm in for that. Those weddings are adorable. I agree. I agree. Well, uh, thank you so much for that question, Joe. Uh, and again, if you guys have a question of your own, please go to our Discord and drop by into the podcast discussion. And uh, yeah, send us a uh, send us a question. We'll answer it. Most likely. <laughs> Most likely. <laughs> Most likely. Most likely. Um, so you know what? Let's get into the news this week, everyone. Uh, we have a couple of bits of news. They're not they're not huge bits of news because uh, I would prefer to save those for when the the gang gets back next week and discussing it. Uh, but I got some f- a little fun bits of news. Uh, so the first one actually is Twitch getting a little too scandalous this week and was actually showing some things you would expect from OnlyFans. <laughs> That's oh right. Twitch had porn on the front oh page. Oh my goodness, no, really? And in, yeah, and in people's recommended to watch list due to a quote-unquote feature uh, that they've had since I think like September of last year uh, that allowed channels to actually pay their way onto either, either the front page or people's recommendations. Um, and they would do this by, um, I don't want to say scamming people, but basically scamming people um, into, uh, so like you would have a channel And you would set a, I don't know, like a goal of a certain amount of your channel, of your, of your watchers to raise. And then that would, you know, make it so that you would be on the front page or at least, you know, onto people, some people's front pages. Um, And so by doing this, Twitch would get all the money (laughs) (laughs) that their viewers would raise. And, uh, you know, that person would get some, some notoriety. So um, some people noticed this feature, and uh, uh, it wasn't just one; it was it was multiples. Uh, and uh, and when you, if in case you have guys haven't gone to the front page of Twitch, the front page of Twitch automatically shows you either a thumbnail or it actually automatically starts playing it for you. Uh, so people were going to you know, hey, gonna check out Twitch.tv, and then you know, boobs were on. <laughs> so much worse just now yeah. i was already like okay so it's one of those like awful gifts like you know like talk to people now like i'm thinking like what are those like old cheesy you know call now 1-800 you know whatever but like it act all oh, because it auto plays well yeah like, oh, yeah it, it can auto play or at least at the very least it's a you know it's a it's a thumbnail it's a moving gift it's a thumbnail it's, or a moving I gift i didn't realize that part <laughs> i was just thinking like the the, the numbers the pop-up no. side you know the 
Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, uh, like, to each their own, but, like, that's not what Twitch is for, y'all. Hey, listen, this is some masterful trolling, all right? It is. This is a feature that I personally hate and have hated for a while. Uh, but, you know, it, it, it is what it is. You know, you can't, they have to make their money somehow. You know, Amazon doesn't have enough. Oh, and clearly, clearly. <laughs> Amazon being the owners of Twitch. Um, and so, you know, some some trolls got, uh, you know, got their way. <laughs> uh, so obviously Twitch has um, removed this feature as of now. And they 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 don't know when it will be back. Uh, All so, right. So so chalk one up to the to the Internet trolls uh, over Amazon. I, you know, I can see it. I, I, I may not appreciate that as much. But it is masterful trolling. It is. Well it done, is. trolls. It's un- well un- done. unfortunately, you know, some people saw things they did not want to see, uh, which is, you know, the true travesty of this because you know a lot of kids and everything go on yeah. to Twitch. Uh, but you know, I, I do think it is a feature that that did not need to be on Twitch. Yeah. Uh, so so to segue from that, uh, there's some more sad news, um, and that is with E3 being canceled yet again this year. And I know I've already announced that. They already canceled their physical presence this year. So it's not just that there's going to be no physical E3. Nope. They also won't have a digital presence either. Uh, and they are instead Aww. focusing all of their energy onto next year, uh, which is good. And, you know, you know, just thinking about it like, oh, OK, yeah, you just want to put all of your energy into that. But I don't think that's great because it's kind of dangerous because it just makes them even less relevant in a time where like. Everyone is kind of doing their own thing and are discovering they don't necessarily need an E3 type event anymore. Yeah, the the relevancy is kind of, unfortunately... Uh, yeah. And it makes me sad, too, because I actually really like big... I like conventions. I like big news that comes out of conventions. It's Agreed. fun to watch people get excited and be passionate about something and everyone gets the information pretty much at the same time. Yeah. I, I kind of love that. And I love the big the big tree houses people would make. And oh, all that. yeah. <laughs> They're not going to have a physical E3. At least, you know, some maybe they would have been able to make something in studio, make something fun, you know. But unfortunately, yeah. it's just going the way of the dodo. Unfortunately, yeah. But, you know, there's still maybe some companies are still going to line up their own uh, announcements that week. Um, able to do some other things uh, on their own as they've again, they kind of already have been doing like what uh, Sony had a state of play last week that was dedicated just to Hogwarts legacy. And that was what 25 minutes of just one game that you couldn't do before. If you had a massive, you know, one of these types of events, you'd only be able to show it off for like maybe five, 10 minutes. Yeah. And that would be it. And they would do their own state of plays anyway, so they could show things off more. So if they're going to waste the money on getting the theater, setting everything up, mm-hmm. doing the doing the promos and all that for it anyway. Uh, yeah, you might as well just just do it on your own, you know, mm-hmm. just uh just be like Thanos and be and just I'll do it myself. <laughs> oh dear. I mean, we still have a uh, Summer Games Fest, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, there's still Summer Games Fest, so Jeff Keighley himself actually just uh, after uh, E3 made this announcement. Uh, tweeted just a winky face because <laughs> uh, he is Look still going. He is still going ahead with Summer Games Fest and all of his other events that he is doing, um, as well as I'm sure many other places are doing. Um, again, uh, uh, the the main thing that I don't like about E3 being canceled digitally is that it does for the smaller creators, for the indies out there, it is another event that they don't have exposure for that they probably were gearing up for at least somewhat um you know we're only what three or four months away from it yeah, so I think it's like june usually yeah normally it's in june early july at the at the latest so yeah I, i'm just sad for those types of people that were like hey we need to you know we need to get our trailers out we need to do these things for this and you know it's not there anymore yeah so so yeah and then, uh, you know, I mentioned that other companies are doing their own thing. Uh, Sony did their own thing this week as well uh, by announcing their Xbox Game Pass competitor. Uh, but we're going to leave that discussion to next week with the rest of the gang. I just wanted to mention it that uh, if you don't know about it, read up on it because we're definitely going to be talking about it next week. Might even be our tasty topic next week because uh, it's very interesting what they're attempting to do with it um, and uh, where they're going to be going with it. So... So yeah, I, I think it's pretty cool. It is kind of exciting. It's pretty exciting. It's pretty I'm, exciting. I'm happy that they're they're working it out. So we'll we'll just definitely discuss in full. Oh next yeah, week. <laughs> absolutely. Uh, so yeah, that will do it for the news this week. 
And I believe that might do it for the episode this week, right, Joe? Yeah, it's a shorty and a sweetie. Shorty and a sweetie. We just wanted to let you all know we love you. Yeah, absolutely. We wanted to, you know, not miss a week as well because, you know, we love uh, seeing your guys' faces uh, digitally (laughs) and uh, hearing your guys' voices digitally uh, because, you know, this is one of the things that we've we've been doing for a little over three years now, Um, and which is crazy to me. It's crazy that we started this the year before all of the pandemic and COVID started. I feel like we started this three years before all that started. It feels like 30 years before I know, all right? that started. The, the last two years have felt like forever. Right? So, like, it's just wild to me that we, you know, we started this right before all of that ha- happened. And, yeah. So, yeah. Here's, here's to another week, y'all. Yeah, to another week. And in case you are looking for more Taste of Dragons content, check us out on Twitter, Instagram, Discord, or Twitch for more discussions, more video games, and more, more, more sandwiches. Absolutely. We are the Taste of Dragons everywhere, and we'd love to hear from you. We would. Uh, And we will also be back next week for our our Ukraine spotlight that we've been doing, uh, that Manda has been working so diligently on. Um, and on our Twitch and on our Instagram. Oh, yeah. Um, pl- please do check out our Discord. We are still posting and still pointing out different Ukrainian developers that we'd like to spotlight. So just because it's not on the episode this week does not mean we aren't doing it on Discord. Exactly. Or or Twitch. Oh, yeah. Jeez. Yeah, and then all the other uh, stuff. I know it's a little late, but if you have some chance to uh, check out uh, Rhythm Bastards, Bastardthon, it will have been yesterday. It will. It will. <laughs> but if you want to give him some love, send, send a view over that way. Please do. He is an amazing uh, contributor to the show. He did our theme song, and he's just an awesome overall dude. So, By far. By far. Yeah, definitely if you if you weren't able to catch it live, uh, definitely watch the, uh, the VOD, the video on demand, if you will, um, where it will definitely all be on there. Uh, Troy will have, will have played a game on there. I think he played Tunic. Um, and that was at, I believe the seven hour mark. So definitely check that out. And he's got a live concert he's going to be doing as well. So yeah, check it out. It's, it's, it's awesome. He, he's a great guy. So that, I think that will do it for us this week. As always, my name is Brian. And I am Joe. And we are the, the taste, taste of, of dragons. dragons. Have a great week, everyone. So long. Bye-bye. We're all going to be together next week. I hope so. I miss everybody. <laughs> and do. I miss you. Have a great week. Bye-bye. If you have a wedding to go to, don't think of the woods we got Taste about. of Dragons Gaming Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> the podcast for everyone's day.